T-shirts for me are basically a uniform. It's pretty much all I ever wear. So when Facebook started to spam advertise true classic tees, I thought, all right guys, calm down, I'll check it out. If you aren't familiar, true classic claims their t-shirts will accentuate the more flattering areas of your bod and that it's not just a shirt, whatever that means. I'm not usually susceptible to ads, especially from Facebook, but they must've been really spying on me closely as they knew my t-shirt collection was weak. Hmm. I mean, I usually just buy cheap tees from H&M or Costco, and they're okay. I don't feel all studly walking around in them or anything. They're just good value. The idea of a tee that fits great, is comfortable, and is durable, all for a reasonable price? Sign me up. On paper, the true classic ticks all the boxes. But are they actually any good? Will they become a staple in the closet? Let's find out right now. First, let's see if you can tell which two out of these four are the true classic tees. They advertise that they look better than other t-shirts. For the record, I'm five foot 10 and weigh between 180 and 185 pounds. My takeaway is that they do feel nicer than your average t-shirt, but the material feels kind of thin. I'm not confident these would last for years. The collar sits higher than I preferred and it didn't make me look as good as I had hoped. But I do think at certain angles, they are more flattering around the shoulders. And to be honest, I'm not sure if it's just the material being thin, but these shirts are a bit more nipply than I would expect. Use that information how you will. So I got a three pack and my first impression was that they were quite long, longer than the tees I'm used to. But with the first shirt, I threw it in the dryer with the rest of my clothes and boom, toddler shirt, whoops. They say on their site it'll shrink about 5%, but mine definitely shrunk more than that. So for the next shirt, I dried it on delicate mode and it was better, still some shrinkage though, like quite a lot. For the last one, I air dried it and it retained its size much better. Look at the three of them side by side. You can tell which one was dried where. So my takeaway was that I've been shrinking shirts my whole life by putting them in the dryer. I guess that's obvious with cotton, but that's what I want in a t-shirt, something I don't have to baby, something I can play rough with. Each one is now a very different size after drying them. Interesting. Now sizing was a bit tricky because I'm sort of in between sizes these days. Most of my life I've been a size medium, but now I've put on the old COVID-19. <laughs> However, I still order the medium and as long as I don't dry it with hot heat, the size feels good. I can't really talk about durability since they've only had a few washes each, but I will say they still feel nice on the skin. However, one of them is already starting to look a bit worn and maybe showing slight pilling. I'll do a long-term review in the future. So if you are curious about that, don't forget to subscribe. As far as price goes, in my opinion, they seem a bit pricey. The three pack costs 60 bucks US. Then once you add in shipping, etc., it really starts to add up. Convert it to a Canadian and boom, that's over $30 per t-shirt. Ouch! That's not the cheapest tee. Reasonable? Eh. I get a four pack of bench v-necks from Costco for 20 bucks, 20. I didn't want to compare them in the aesthetic contest earlier because they are v-necks, which aren't my first choice of style, but for five bucks per shirt, I mean, come on. And I think they actually look and fit pretty good. So should you buy the true classic tee? I like it when a company takes one thing and does it really well. And while I do think that true classic tees might be better than the average plain tee you'd buy at Walmart, I wasn't as blown away as I had hoped. How could I not get excited? Look at this ad. This guy looks awesome. The difference on me though, not quite as dramatic. They have great marketing, but it doesn't completely seem like the product backs up all of their claims. I would say if you could buy them for 10 bucks US or 15 Canadian per tee, then they would be worth trying. But for their usual sale price of 20 bucks US or $30 Canadian per shirt, I would say no, you probably shouldn't buy it. I mean, I don't regret buying them at their sale price. They are better than the $8 tees I sometimes buy from H&M, but I definitely wouldn't go as far as to say they are the perfect t-shirt. If the cost was less, it would be easier to recommend, but for a basic t-shirt, it's just too expensive. The quest continues. Oh, nice shirts, you guys. Where'd you get those? They stink though. You should wash those shirts, man. Yeah. Then they'll shrink. Ah.
It's a little big, I think. Looks great. Oh! That's <laughs> tape! I warned you! They stink. I don't wear deodorant. Yeah. yeah. Rabbits stink. If you have any suggestions for teas I should try next, or have tried the true classic teas yourself, please let me know in the comments below. I love reviewing all types of products. Be sure to watch my last video here, or check this one out. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Sad Life. <laughs>